Hello, my name is Alicia Sharon and I am a geophysics major at the University of California, Santa Barbara. I believe it is important to study with students from diverse backgrounds because when we all learn together, we all benefit from the intellectual and cultural exchange that occurs. It is impossible for one person to experience all the world has to offer, to see all its beauty and also internalize all its strife. But, by exposing ourselves to people from diverse backgrounds, we can live vicariously through one another's experiences and gain some of the knowledge of our peers. By listening to the tales of one another's trials and triumphs, we can hope to learn to understand the other person's perspective, and countless new insights could develop as a result. This is true both in the culturally based world in which we all live, and also in the scientific world in which I work. I began my college education as a physics major, and one of only three women in my year, might I add. It was not uncommon for me to be the only female in my study group, lab, or even lecture hall. And though people did notice this, it would have been ignorant to belittle me. I was always an active participant in review sessions and study groups, and though I may, not, may have been the only one in the room lacking a Y chromosome, I definitely was not lacking in ideas or vigor. My mother played a similar role when she chose to, to pursue a degree in engineering technology in 1980, despite her parents' suggestions that she just forget all this computer stuff and settle down with a nice Catholic boy. She was one of seven women out of 200 students in her graduating class at California Polytechnic State University, and she went on to work at Intel for 28 years. Meanwhile, her husband, my father, was in charge of the house and children, a little bit of a role reversal from a traditional, from a traditional household. My mother's job called for her to relocate a few times, so I lived in California, England, and Massachusetts in Oregon before I was 10 years old. Most of my life, however, was spent in the liberal, progressive town in California known as Santa Cruz. My background growing up in, in this region is what has dominantly shaped my humanist perspective of the world. I know that on semester at sea, I will meet people from many diverse and possibly discrepant backgrounds. Nonetheless, I will listen to their histories and ideas, and I know my eyes will be open to many presently unimaginable perspectives. Studying in a cornucopia of diversity will not only help me comprehend humanity's past and present, it will also help me and my international peers develop solutions for the future. There are many pressing issues facing humankind, and overcoming them will require a lot of influ new influential ideas. From ridding the world of poverty, to developing a sustainable and accessible energy source, to ensuring that women and children across the world have access to a quality education. The problems are diverse and widespread and they must be solved by a diverse and widespread populace. It is ludicrous to think that all the planet's dilemmas will be cured by one type of person with one narrow perspective coming from one singular background. We will only progress if people from all across the spectrum, black, white, male, female, gay, straight, both the rich, the poor, the idealist, and the realist, the imaginative, and the pragmatic, all come together. Global advancement is only possible if we all engage in intellectual discourse, try to overcome the numerous cultural barriers in our way, and learn to truly understand one another. Only then will we be able to devise effective solutions for a better future.